In rescue is the promise of sanctuary. Here, farmed animals are free and safe from harm. They form emotional bonds, experience joy, and live without fear. Pigs make beds in fresh straw. Cows nurture close friendships and grow old together. Sheep spend lazy afternoons grazing together, but enthusiastically return to the cozy barn at night. Rescue also pulls back the curtain on a flawed system, a system that ignores the sentience and agency of these vulnerable and beautiful individuals. And through rescue, we see the power of sanctuary to heal. Rescue takes us across the country to ensure animals are seen and heard and that the animal agriculture industry is exposed. Biscuit was abandoned at an auction and later rescued by a teenage girl. After almost a year together, she realized this blind sheep needed more than she could give. She called us and we came. In an industry that values profit over care, animals like Biscuit are rarely given a chance. But now Biscuit is thriving, learning to navigate his new home with a little help from his friends. This is Julia. Undercover footage from a factory farming investigation showed her refusing to move to a cramped farrowing crate to give birth. In response, she was brutally abused until she collapsed. We were able to bring her to sanctuary just in time to give birth to 16 piglets in warmth and safety. Julia spent six joyful years with her babies before passing. These years were filled with peace, happiness, and the love of her sanctuary family. Many of her children are still with us today. Monet and Matisse arrived under the cover of night. They were left anonymously, but factory farming leaves its scars. Sores from the feeding pipe and cuts from the rough handling and cramped cages made it clear they were victims of the foie gras industry. The boys kept a close bond throughout their time together, only parting when Monet passed after six years at Sanctuary. Matisse is still with us. At Sanctuary, his life is his own. In the midst of an ice storm, we got the call from an animal welfare agency that four calves were fighting for their lives. They were the only survivors of a small Pennsylvania dairy farm, tethered in a dark, filthy space. Their owner had abandoned them. Smaller farms touted as humane often result in conditions just as bad as factory farms. Nina, Rosie, Chantrell, and Roger escaped the darkness, arriving to safety and sanctuary. Today, they're still bonded, living a life of freedom and liberty, and enjoying the support and stability of the main herd. In our modern farming system, animals are transported great distances from farm to slaughter, and accidents during transport are frighteningly common. California Highway Patrol recovered nine chickens whose cages likely fell from a factory farming transport truck. They spent the rest of their lives getting the care and love they deserved. Liberty was three years old and pregnant when she arrived at the slaughterhouse. She gave birth to her daughter, Indigo, on the slaughterhouse floor. The facility's owner chose compassion for the mother and daughter and released the pair to sanctuary. They found a family in the rest of our herd and will spend the rest of their lives in freedom, together. It's one thing to see an animal at sanctuary and to know they're safe but it's another to follow their thread back, to read their story, and to see how it fits into a food system built on oppression. After 35 years, we have a trove of stories like these, seemingly endless examples of survival, love, growth, triumph, miracles, compassion, and forgiveness. It's an honor to share their stories to the world as we raise our individual and collective consciousness, as we all work toward a food system that feeds everyone at the expense of no one.